many of us think that the recording of the creation in the Bible is that of the physical creation? In this seminar, we will try and make some sense of God's physical and spiritual creations. First of all, we'll discuss the physical creation of God before the Bible's creation and what our human purpose is. And in the second half, we will discuss whether the Bible is relevant and what the purpose of the Bible is. Did God create us by physical evolution? Or do we believe that the universe is physically 6,000 years old? And I know for a fact that there are many Christians who do not believe this, but they prefer to believe in the Bible. How do we bring the two together? It becomes quite confusing, because if we say that God created the universe billions of years ago, then we are contradicting our own teachings from the Bible. But we know for a fact that the planet Earth in itself is more than 6,000 years old. We have a spirit inside the physical body. All living beings have spirit which gives it life. Some people tell me that they were queens in their former lives. Many people actually believe this. Most of the people who believe these fairy tales are actually religious or Christian. I want to ask you, if you were a prince or a queen in a former life, then you had to leave that body and be reborn into your new body. Is that not true? We know that we leave the body when we die, but where does the spirit come from which enters into the baby which is formed inside the mother's womb? Where does it come from? Some believe that it came from the prince or the queen or whatever the case may be. Some people even told me that they strongly believe that their child was the spirit of a former relative. For instance, a grandfather or somebody that passed away quite a while ago. They believe that their grandfather was born into their baby's body because his reactions to everything, the way he eats, the way he walks, the way he talks, everything is exactly the same as their grandfather was, or the father was, or the relative, or a friend, whatever the case may be. There's another question. That the same spirit that left the prince, your spirit that left the prince's body, or the grandfather's body, or whatever body it came from, that entered into your mother's womb, why was that spirit not stuck in heaven or hell? That's what the Christians believe. We believe that when you leave your body, you'll end up in heaven or hell and never take a body again. Because we do not believe in evolution, we do not believe in reincarnation. The spirit had to enter into the baby from somewhere. This somewhere is the astral. All spirits are from the astral. Some would argue with me and say, no, when you leave your body, you go to heaven or hell. Alright? Let us assume that this is true then I don't want to serve that unfair God because what chance does a cannibal have which has never seen any church or any God before and he leaves the body, where will he go? Will he go to hell or will he go to heaven? Or is there a special little place created for him where he can go and rest? Or the bushman in the desert? They've never seen a church, they've never seen a Bible, they never had the chance to have faith. Where do their spirits go? Don't you think that it'll be unfair of God for that spirit to just go to hell? Why would one child be born in a third world country where it dies of hunger and another child is born in a first world country where he lives like royalty and, and have everything they need? Why would that happen? How can God be that unfair? That makes you think. Because we, we merely think of the church and our direct environment and the people we live with. We don't think how God created the universe. In other words, we had to evolve. We had to come from another body to enter this specific body through my mother's womb. For example, the person whose child evolved from the grandfather. Obviously, if that spirit left the grandfather's body and entered into the mother's womb, 
surely that same spirit which came from the grandfather had to come from another body because that same spirit of the child at that time had to come from another body which had to enter into the grandfather's body inside its mother's womb. Is that not true? So now we are going back in time. And a hundred years before that, where did the spirit come from? And a hundred years before that, where did the spirit come from? We are evolving all the time. Let us look at the people from the 30s and the 1920s. How intelligent were they? in comparison to the children of today. If you had to tell somebody in the 1910s or 1920s that they would send a rocket to the moon, they would not believe you, would they? They would say it's a fantasy. But today, it's normal. We're not even interested when they go to the moon anymore. We, do, we don't even know about it. Because to us it's normal. Something else will happen. Technology, science evolves all the time, and so do we. Why? Because our spirits are evolving, our bodies are evolving, our intelligence are evolving. If the, the spirit came from the grandfather, it had to come from some other body as well. So now we are going back in time all the time. Where did it start? Because a few million years ago, there were no human beings on the earth. But we, that same spirit inside that mother's child had to come from somewhere. And the grandfather and the grandfather before that, we're going back in time, all the time. Where did it start? It had to start here. Yeah. Or do you think that it started with Adam? We'll get to that in our second half of evolution. And that will be explained quite clearly. But for now, with the physical evolution, that same spirit came from a former life, and a former, and a former. But a few million years ago, there were no human beings. Before then, in what life form was that same spirit before it reached the chimp, or the gorilla, or the monkey, for that matter? It had to be lower life forms. Because when we go through time of evolution, we can see that the species became all the more intelligent all the time through all the millions and millions of years up to where we are today. But it had to start somewhere, is it not? That same spirit had to go back in time. Or don't you believe that an animal has a spirit? Are humans not animal? Of course we're animal. We're as much animal as any other animal on the planet. We are merely the most intelligent animal on the planet created by God. Of course, the others have spirit as well. But what gives a dog life? And don't tell me a, a dog doesn't have a spirit, because they have more emotion than a human being. The, the, a dog will give his life to his master. Is it not true? See how much love and passion the animal has for his master, and how much love they have for everybody else. They have life, and we evolved from there. But where did everything start? And what is the human purpose really? Whether there was a Big Bang or not, it's totally immaterial. The fact remains that we exist and we are beings which live on the earth. And we must find some explanation to all this. According to scientists, billions of years ago, two planets collided which formed the earth and the moon. But with the collision of the two planets, the entire planet was molten lava and there couldn't have been any life on the planet. There was no water on the planet. But according to the scientists, once again, asteroids collided with the earth which brought forth all the water. And in these asteroids there were life forms. Small, tiny little life forms, more in the form of bacteria. These little life forms have life and where there is life, there is spirit. These little life forms then evolve into dinosaurs. I'm not very sure uh, on these matters. I've heard so many different dates and times. But let's assume that was approximately 1.4 billion years ago. Asteroids collided with the Earth once again. 
which brought the dinosaurs to extinction. But many life forms survived in the Ice Age and they evolved until they reached the human form where we are today. Where was heaven and hell before we reached this level? When did God create the heaven and hell? Because the same spirit that evolved through all these lives never ended up in heaven or hell. Because there is no such a thing as a doggy heaven or a kitty heaven. There is heaven and there is hell. This is most definitely one of the biggest misconceptions of the Christians ever. We will have more clarity on this at the end of the second half of the seminar. The life forms which survived the asteroids and the ice age evolved into the human being. We have to remember that the human being is not man. The human being is animal. We evolved from animal and we are animal. We are the most intelligent animal created on the planet. We therefore all started from basically nothing. This is where the scientists go wrong. They believe that it's merely the physical beings that evolved to where we are today. It is not. It's the spirit that evolved through all the different lifetimes. And I've heard many Christians say that if the spirit of the baboon evolved into a human form, why didn't the baboon become extinct? Which is perfectly logical. Evolution means that something has become something from something else, correct? Okay, so my question is, if we're from apes, why are the apes still here? Yeah, I would think the same thing. If we evolved from apes, they would have died off. Why didn't that species become extinct when the spirit evolved to a more intelligent species? We can compare the physical creation of God to a school. When the first graders of a school advance to a second grade, the first grade of the school doesn't close down. It has to stay open for new students to enter into the school. And the first graders will then advance to the second grade and the second grade will advance to the third grade and that is exactly how God started evolution the life forms within the bacteria evolved into a more intelligent being up to where we are today but the first bacterial life forms couldn't become extinct otherwise it will be the same as the first grade of the school shutting down after the first graders advanced to the second grade and the third grade and the fourth grade is that not so evolution is the school which God created for spirits to evolve through from the smallest and unintelligent life forms to where we are today and that is why evolution had to happen the physical beings created by God on this planet were created for spirits to evolve we merely go by what we see with the physical eye but inside each living being there is a spirit which evolved through time to where we are today what is our purpose then because we are merely animal the human being is the only form which have the intelligence to realize God and the human being is the only form which has the wisdom to serve God no lower life form have the wisdom to serve God why do we have to serve God to set the spirit free from this cycle of birth and death in other words God wanted the souls of the living beings God wanted the souls to reach him and that is why he created life forms for us to evolve through to the level where we can realize God and for the soul to escape into the kingdom of God. That is the whole process. The human purpose is for the spirit to escape into the kingdom of God. Where do we come from? We come from an astral plane. The astral is where we live between two lifetimes. When you leave your body, you're not in a body. You have to be in some plane and it can't be on earth because when you leave your body you walk through the earth you walk through the wall you walk through 
the sun for that matter. So I want to leave that thought with you. If a spirit walks through the sun, what does hell look like? Because the spirit can't burn. But be that as it may. The spirit is what evolved through all the lifetimes to where we are today. The human being is merely a carcass. The physical beings that you see on earth are merely carcasses or taxis for a spirit which gives it life. And that is why evolution had to happen. Religious people, the, the Christian has to understand that you cannot understand the Bible without understanding evolution. That is where we are all from. We are from a physical creation by evolution which took billions of years. We can't argue with scientists. And this is where the two link. The school of, of spirits evolved to where we are today. But where does the Bible come in then? 6,000 years ago, the creation started. What creation was that? If it wasn't the physical creation, it must have been some other creation then. Yes, what creation? What happened 6,000 years ago? 6,000 years ago, the first human beings, there wasn't one human being, there were many human beings 6,000 years ago. 6,000 years ago, the first human beings evolved to the level where they realized that they had a creator. That is the first time 6,000 years ago that God could communicate with the human animal. And that is when God said, let there be light. God is light. Jesus is light. And the first light was created within the human mind, in the human heart, 6,000 years ago. And that is where the creation in the Bible started. You evolved through all the species to where you are today. You were never created by your mother. You were created by God millions of years ago. The human is merely the most advanced animal created by God on the planet. We therefore have to understand that everything started billions of years ago and 6,000 years ago the first human beings evolved to the level where they could realize God. And that is when God said, let there be light. And there was light within the human heart because we are born in darkness. We were not, never born in physical darkness. The Christians should understand this, that we were born in darkness. What darkness? Physical darkness? No, spiritual darkness. Lucifer controlled our minds. The darkness controlled our minds. But God had to create light within us for us to understand what our journey and our purpose really is. We have only one purpose. We were created through millions of years to where we are today. And the human form is the only form from which the spirit can escape into God's kingdom. And that is the purpose of the human body. While we are inside the body, we must seek the kingdom of God. Therefore, the human body is a gate through which the spirit enters the kingdom of God. Let me put it to you this way. We are all from the astral plane, which is a spirit plane. And we all have to enter the kingdom of God, which is also a spirit plane. But why do we have to enter through a physical body? Because the physical body is the gate through which the spirit enters into the kingdom of God. Where is the kingdom of God? Luke 17, 20. The kingdom of God is within you. In other words, we have to enter into the, the physical body and then enter into the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is with the entire kingdom of God is not within us, but the gate from which we enter into the kingdom of God is within the human body. But we will discuss this in the second half of the seminar. Thank you.